Now more on a story we told you about earlier in the newscast. Another controversy surrounding the Coatesville Area School District. First, we learned two top administrators resigned after they allegedly sent racist emails about students and staff. Now other messages are being scrutinized by the district attorney as part of an investigation into missing money in the school district. Joining us now in the Digital Operations Center is legal expert Enrique Latoyson. Enrique, we know the district attorney's office is looking into this case. What are the possible charges that could be brought? Well, I mean, you have two issues here. You have the racist text messages that they uncovered. I mean, with those particular issues, there could be possible charges for ethnic intimidation or harassment. Um, the district attorney's office is looking very carefully. I'm sure they're backtracking their actions to see if the actions are consistent with their behavior of how they were speaking about these students. And then, of course, you have the issue with the theft. Um, if it turns out because they brought attention to themselves based on these text messages, there could be charges for theft, receiving stolen property fraud and conspiracy to those charges. Now these were district issued phones. Is it illegal for people in their position to send and transmit those types of racist text messages? Well, it's not illegal. I mean, you have a First Amendment right to be a bigot or to uh, say those kind of things. I mean, they're very distasteful, they're very hurtful, they're very hurtful to the Coatesville community, to the students at large, but it's not illegal. Uh, if you talk this way and then your actions indicate some sort of mistreatment or harassment or intimidation upon the people that you're speaking about, that could be illegal. Your actions could be. But simply just using those foul words and that bad language language in itself is not illegal. What do you see happening legally in this case and the potential for any civil suits? Well, I mean, the district attorney's office is carefully looking over their actions to see if, you know, this speaking of possible kickbacks or theft, and I'm sure they're going to look at it very carefully. If they're able to uncover evidence, they're definitely going to be charged criminally. Now, far as civilly, now, I'm sure attorneys will be looking to see whether or not somehow were these students mistreated or were they treated in a way that put them at a disadvantage due to this, uh, the way that they were viewed by these two. Um, were there any kind of negligence involved by the by the school district what, by not maybe closely monitoring these two? I would think that a civil suit would be hard to prove in this case, but I do think they brought a lot of attention to themselves, and I think the district attorney's office, based on what they have so far, will carefully go over what they did financially or any possible improprieties for any possible theft charges. We will continue to watch what happens to these top administrators and whether any charges are to come. Legal expert Enrique Latoyson, thank you. Thank you, Jacqueline.